okay, I thought I'd just make a little video showing you there is a way of getting Windows 7 Ultimate for free and it's totally activated like unlimited so I'm just going to show you now I'm at the end of the installation process and just about to pull my details in so yeah just type in the name password I'll do that later Uh, product key, you click next without typing a product key in. Uh, ask me later for the updates. Um, yeah, 1547, that is correct. Finalising your settings. The reason I'm doing this from a webcam like this now is because I want to show you in the whole video without any breakups or anything. Like, so I can prove to you that it is a genuine version of Windows if you like well it's not genuine but I don't know how do I say it it's not like one of them tricks where it tricks you into thinking that you got a full version of Windows where it says that Windows is activated at the bottom hang on I'll show you on the PC what I mean so if I go to system properties Right, I don't know if you'll be able to see there where it says Windows is activated. See where it says there, Windows is activated. And it says genuine. That's what I mean. There's some out there that say that, but the product ID is totally different. It doesn't have the OEM in it. So in my experience, if it doesn't have OEM in it, the product ID, then it's not going to be activated. It's just one of them tricks that hides it for 30 days and then it will come back. Oh, by the way, another way of knowing if it's activated or not. Um, yeah, another way of seeing if it's activated or not. Just install the update. You know the... I don't know, the service pack, whatever you want to call it. If you install that, most of them don't allow you to install it and keep the activation. But this one it does. So I don't know if you can hear that in a minute. Can you hear the little grinding? That's on the CD coming from there. This is going to be a long video. Already 3 minutes 20 already. Okay, while we're waiting for that to load. I'm going to quickly put this memory stick in the PC so you can see what program I use to activate it. Oh yeah, I'm getting dizzy now. Right, it's a program called Windows Loader. Basically, if you click on it, then click on Yes. I'm getting dizzy from looking at that. Anyway, this is what it is. Windows Loader, basically you click install, I don't need to do it because mine's already done but I'll do it anyway. It says install and basically what it does is installs the um, product key and the license and it gets it from what, I don't know, somehow it gets it from other users over the internet have the exact same model motherboard and whatever you have. The certificate and serial were successfully installed. Yeah, it comes up saying that. 
and yeah Windows is just restarting on here yeah it will be a big cursor at first because I've not installed the graphics drivers yet okay it says welcome preferring your desktop yeah anyway take this USB stick out uh, put it in the side of the laptop USB stick is there waiting a little bit burnt because I caught it <laughs> on the cooker one day I don't know why it still works though this is the boring bit waiting here we go so hopefully it should all be speedy now which it is Before I done this, it was all like really all sluggish. So yeah, this program that I'm using to activate it, it's a free program online. If you just type in Windows Loader on Google, you should be able to find it. So yeah, turn the wireless on. Uh, why is the USB device not doing anything? Hang on. Let's try that again. There we go. So yeah, before I activate it, I just want to show you. System properties. Okay, I'm slightly confused. It says Windows is activated already. I've not even installed anything yet. Okay. What if I take that out? Will that make a difference? Okay, I'm slightly confused because it says Windows is activated, even though I didn't type a key or anything in it. But yeah, I'm going to show you just for the hell of it, just for the sake of it to show you that Windows 7 loader. This is not very good looking at the PC monitor. Anyway, double click on that, click on yes. Uh, this window will pop up here uh, yeah click install actually if I was you I'd check the profile and that uh, yeah that's all correct SLRC is the Dell which is basically the model nut no, it's not dead actually. It's uh, I don't think it matters too much about this, but yeah, you click install, let it do its thing. And the version that I'm using is version 2.2.1 by Daz. The loader certificate and soft serial was successfully installed. You must restart your computer before the changes will take effect. 
please select your preferred options. Okay, I'm going to restart it and show you that everything is all licensed because it didn't say Packard Bell or anything before. As you can see there, it is a Packard Bell. <laughs> and it says there. But what I mean by it didn't say Packard Bell is the section where it says Windows is activated. It will have the big Windows logo in the top right corner. And then underneath that, it will have the manufacturer of the laptop. And then underneath that, it'll have the blue Microsoft Genuine logo. So let's just have another look again quickly. So hopefully all that will be there now. Yep, Windows is activated. Let's just go back to the things, see if anything's changed. The program. It's a good idea to keep going back to it. Okay, go there. Okay, so the only thing really to do now is just install the graphics drivers and stuff like that. But that is it, Windows 7 is installed and fully licensed so I hope you enjoyed that and yeah in case you didn't realize I'm recording from my PC with a dodgy camera in fact I really wish I could show you the camera because the camera is shattered and I mean shattered look uh, somewhere I've got the housing for it I've literally only using the main board with a lens on it so yeah, you can't really see a reflection, can you? What can I use that has a reflection? Anyway, no, that's going away from the point. So yeah, Windows 7 is installed. Just got to download the drivers for the... If I turn on the wireless, it should come on. But it don't. But there's... That's not a problem because if you have a wireless dongle, like a USB wireless dongle, you can just put that in there and yeah, just download the wireless driver from that. And once that's installed, just use the regular wireless for the laptop. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.